what is image editing image editing is the process of modifying images with the help of a software today it is possible to create a computer image of yourself standing happily on the surface of the moon without going into the space <laughs> these types of images are created using image editing softwares such softwares can be used to crop and, and resize an image and transform it into different appearances image editing software can also be used to create characters needed for animation films GIMP Photoshop Krita Picasa Image Magic etc are the most popular image editing softwares the size of a canvas the size of a canvas is determined in the unit of pixels in addition to pixels canvas size is fixed in different units such as centimeters millimeters and inches which can be selected from the create new image window similarly there are predetermined canvases of different sizes which can be selected from the templates floating layers What is floating layers Floating layers are temporary layers with the same characteristics as the normal layer When an image is inserted into the GIMP's canvas without using the layer facility the image can be seen as a floating layer in the layer window When we click on the layer menu in the main window and then click on to new layer converts the image into a new layer and the floating selection becomes a layer If you intend to embed an image into the background of the canvas without creating a new layer in that way just click on the anchor button in the layers window then the image becomes a fixed part of the background on the canvas so we can't edit the image hereafter we can understand now the importance of the layer facility in the gimp software how to flip an image in gimp gimp has the facility to rotate images spaciously to do this 
make a copy of the layer containing the image to be flipped. Adjust the size of the layer of image as we desire with the scale tool. Adjust the layer of image to appropriate position on the canvas with move tool. Click on the flip tool in the toolbox and then enable it. Click on the image to rotate. How to adjust the brightness and contrast of an image? Suppose we want to increase the clarity of an image we have collected for inclusion in the poster. To do this, first open the image in GIMP. Take a duplicate of the image so that to ensure no changes should be happened on the original image. Click on the colors menu in the GIMP window and then open the brightness contrast sub menu. Change the brightness and contrast of the image by moving the slider in the window that opens. Click the OK button. We can use the blur facility in the filter menu in the GIMP software to see an image being blurred. To do this, select the layer that contains the image to be blurred on the poster. Select the part of the image that we want to blur using any, any selection tool. We can select the appropriate blur facility from the blur menu that appears when you click on the filter menu. Look, the part of the image that we have just selected is dimmed or illegible. GIMP includes a number of filtering techniques. You can try other features in the filter menu. Change a file format. You have already been told that products made with the GIMP software are saved in .xcf format. That is the default file extension of the GIMP software. For example, when a poster we create needs to be used for other purpose, its format needs to be changed. To do this, you can click on the file menu, click export as. In the export image window, type the file name with a file extension in the name box. Here I am using .jpg. Select the folder in which the file to be saved and click the export button. In the new dialog box that appears, the quality of image may be adjusted like this. But it is not so important. Then click on the export button. We can use other image file extensions like JPG. For example, now I am using a file extension .png. See how to export the image into .png file format.